And we're going to have some breaking news on this show because she's putting together a brand new program that nobody knows about yet. You can't even find out about it on her website. I am so thrilled, Adora, for you to be here with me today. Oh, it is such a pleasure, Adrian. Thank you for having me. All right. So we have to have some fun. Uh, but we also have some serious business here because issues of stress, issues of blood pressure are all things that interfere with our healthy longevity. So this is more than beauty, more than a, a nice day out. I want to start it this way. Of course, retreats are now a buzzword among a lot of us baby boomers. Tell us about retreats. Bring us to your retreat. Yes, we'll find out about the two retreats coming up. But explain what can be accomplished during a three-day to five-day to seven-day retreat. Absolutely. Well, I think if we start to to consider this from a bird's eye perspective, that we all feel this calling, right? especially uh, the calling to come back into community to be able to lean into each other with physical proximity. Um, And so this is paramount. And so many of my clients and readers are coming to me to say, I'm, I just, I'm tired of feeling isolated. I feel alone. Um, I don't feel supported. Uh, And I, I certainly don't feel like I'm thriving in the way that I know that is possible for me. And so this is where uh, having a retreat program is such an important facet, I think, of any um, any wellness uh, organization, any lifestyle organization, any anyone that is promoting uh, greater harmony and well-being. Because as humans, we are designed to come together in community, to be able to share not only our joys, but also our pain, to become vulnerable to one another. Because it is through our vulnerability when we can open up and share from a place of truth, of authenticity, of trust, and it's where we are able to really thrive in our lives, to release that which has been holding us back, whether it's past heartache, um, whether it's loss of love, loss of loved ones, aspects of physical challenge or disease, or just a sense of spiritual disconnect. Or like, you know, I know there's something more for me in life. 